Oh, fuck. <clears throat> on today's episode of Putting Lipstick on a Pig. We are going to patch up these beds that this guy uses for crushed concrete. So stuff like this, you know, it's a little light showing through. We'll throw a patch on that. We're throw it on the outside because it's for co crushed concrete and he doesn't really give two shits. And um, well, frankly, neither do I. So we'll go around. We'll throw a little lipstick on this here piggy. And we'll get it done. And yeah, I'm gonna stick weld it. I'm gonna use 6010 too. And I'm gonna weld it downhill because I can. I was a little late and the metal guy was sitting there waiting for me. We got a lot of patches to do on these few dump trucks. I also at some point need to patch this one, but this one is really fucked. But I know all three of these trucks will be hauling crushed concrete. So with that being said, we're putting lipstick on a pig. This is not a fucking welding test. This is what the real world looks like, okay? This is what it really looks like to be a welder. You're not gonna be in some fucking clean booth, getting jerked off by some fucking instructor, you know, welding a fucking plate with a bevel on it. Most of the time you're gonna be doing shitty, 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 shitty stuff on shitty, shitty, shitty stuff. All right? Shitty, shitty, bang, bang. And I'm not gonna get fucking scientific with this shit. I'm just gonna beat it with a hammer. Keep it simple, stupid. The customer does not want to spend a lot of money. That was the number one thing he said to me. I don't want to spend a lot of money. These things haul crushed concrete. The beds are going to get destroyed again. The drivers are assholes. They fuck everything up. I don't blame him. I don't. I'd be here every week if you wanted these things to be pristine. But anyway, so those are the projects today. We got a couple of Western stars. Western, Western stars. So here's the sheet of material you see my boy just uh, deliver from STR once again. So we'll go ahead and start chopping this up, making our patches. If you don't got one of these bad boys, cut, this makes cutting sheets so much easier. I highly suggest you go out and you grab yourself one of these metal cut and circular saws. This one's the evil one. The link to it will be in the description below as always. So if you want one, go ahead and buy yourself one. Use my link, put a couple dollars in your boy's pocket, all right? And you know what, before I get started on this project, there's something I always forget to do. Like, subscribe, and share the video, all right? Especially if you guys like this shit. This ain't, this ain't easy to do, all right? It's hard. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these customers don't appreciate me filming. Let's get cutting. 19. Call it 20. 20 looks good. Two and three quarter, 20, two and three quarter by, 20 by two and three quarter and three. Let's see if it'll work for these. Yep, that'll work. I know the 20 will work. Yeah, that'll work. And I know it'll work for that one because that one's not as badly damaged. All right, so here's the dimensions of what I need. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-cut all this. So guys, this is a pretty trick tool I got in my hands. If you don't have a drywall square, Get one on your truck because when you're cutting sheet like this, this thing is indispensable. It makes my life so much easier to cut big pieces out of big pieces of sheet and keep everything nice, square, and straight. And I also want to take a second to thank my dad for letting me use his yard when I don't have room in my own for big projects like this. Remember kids, don't go welding on nothing with a computer without disconnecting the battery. What the fuck is going on there? I got our first patch bent. Looks like shit, but it doesn't really matter. So what we'll do is we'll weld it down here where it's pretty tight. Maybe in there, I don't know, I'll probably beat it in after I weld it. And then we're just gonna beat and weld as we go. Maybe use a couple of dogs like this, which I just cut C-clamps in half. I don't get all fancy with buying dogs and shit. You can just get, you can get these for like $3 from Harbor Freight. Why buy freaking $50 dogs? 
And these hammer off easier because of cast. So, uh, yeah, let's start burning these fucking things in. And that's right. I'm going to commit all the welding sins today. I'm going to weld right over that paint. What you see me doing here is just welding a dog down. Um, I need to re-weld it mid-push because it starts to crack, but that's all right. It ends up working out for doing exactly what I wanted it to. So here's where I made a little mistake. Trying to put two of these bad boys on at once. So I go on welding and beating and welding and beating. That was until I realized that even though this is eighth inch material, I really need to go get a torch out and heat this stuff up to make it bend to my will because this is just way too hard on my hands. And you'll see that within just a few minutes, I'm able to make way more progress with heating the patch than I did just trying to do it while it was cold. So from what I understand, the owner has a couple of new beds sitting and waiting to go on these trucks, but he has some sort of hold up until he can do that. So this is just a temporary repair to get him by. And finally, I'm able to finish this patch up. It takes a little longer than I'd like it to, but that's how it goes in this game. So after heating a piece and bending it back into place, I grab a piece of flat stock to see how it's gonna fit in there. And uh, what I do with this time is I'm gonna go ahead and weld this in instead of something with a corner in it to see if it goes any faster. I figure worst case scenario, I have to come back and I have to go ahead and re-weld it. I also try starting at the top and working my way down instead of the opposite direction like I did on the other patch. And then the sun decides to come and fuck my shot up. But I'm so into my work right now, I have no idea what's going on with my camera. I'm on like hour four and I've only gotten two patches done because I'm trying to hammer them into the shape of the dented ass bed. I keep doing my best and uh, we're gonna work until there's no light anymore. So let's try to get this last patch in on this side. So for this patch, I finally wised up and grabbed a piece of angle iron. In hindsight, what I should have done is cut that step off, worked it into the job, and just replaced it. All right, so it would seem the good news is, after trying this three or four different ways, um, I've kind of figured out the fastest way. Buying a sheet was a mistake and, and trying to bend it because the bend is time consuming because I don't have a break here. So what I figured out is that the angle iron is really the best way to go just to kind of heat it and beat it in place. Uh, seems to work the best, even better than the flat plate. Problem with the flat plate is you're trying to butt it up against the crinkled ass fucked up edge. So it kind of makes things difficult. So this side of the truck is officially done. Um, I'm gonna go and move everything. I'm gonna go and move everything to the other side of the truck and then get started on that side. Maybe we can finish one truck tonight. Normally this isn't how I would do the job, but the customer pointed out the other truck, said, hey, just do some patches like these. I said, okay. 
Normally what I would do is cut out those sections, those square sections, and sheet this thing from the inside and then weld it from the outside, you know, using the crane to pick up the sheets. The bad thing about this angle is it's covered in some sort of primer and it burns off and makes a pretty nasty smell. Luckily I have my respirator. What I end up trying out on this one is pre-bending the angle iron. Uh, to see if that saves a little bit of time. So basically all I did was put a adjustable wrench on the end of the angle iron, heat it, and just put my weight on it. So here it is. So what you, you can see what I'm dealing with here. I mean, this thing's just beat to hell. You can see the kind of bend I had to put into that angle iron to make it work. But delaying in there, I've just got one, two more to do on this. Actually, just one more on this bed. I think, let me check. Yeah, just one more on this bed, on this. I think I might have to do one inside of this bed. But you, you can see what I'm dealing with here. I mean, this is just, and you know what? Honestly, when you first start out, this is the most of the type of the work you're gonna do. I honestly probably wouldn't take a job like this if it wasn't my slow season. This type of work is fucking miserable. The bigger guys out there, the guys who've been doing this 20, 30 years, you won't catch them doing this type of work. But this is part of the gig. When you first start out, you need to take what you can get um, or if you're slow. I mean, this is a business. This isn't a fucking uh, parade. You know, this isn't a fashion show. So um, no matter how miserable it makes you, like it's making me, um, you just gotta push through it, finish up. So one more patch on this, and then I, I need to go around and check the tailgate on this thing because it's fucking whooped. And then I think it needs to be welded on the inside, but we'll save that for tomorrow. Anything on the inside will do tomorrow. But I mean, you could see, I mean, that's one of the welds I showed you guys the other day. It's just riddled with fucking shitty fucking welds. Makes me look like a fucking superstar over here with my, my shitty welds. But it is what it is. I mean, look at the fucking thing. You do what you can. That's all you can do. So I get a lot of comments saying, oh, I should have done it like this. You should have done it like that. You guys have to understand that the customer is asking me to do things a certain way. Hey, do it like this, you know? So I just go ahead and I say, all right, that's what you want. That's what you get. That's a trick that I've I'm actually did it, doing. did it a hundred years ago. We got out of welding about five years ago. Uh, but I used to do fine art. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. take whatever I could and put it together, anything heavy metal. Yeah. Built a few statues out of it. You bought it, got over it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I turned the whole freaking car into a grill. Oh. Yeah, some guy wanted some guy wanted an old fancy uh what's it called? An old fancy car like in Elvis Presley. I said, you know, I'm just gonna run you. Oh, I'm going to cost a lot of money with that. Yeah. We wanted a real So I don't care about the price. Find it. So you get one of those all the time. Everybody's a fucking welder. They always come up to you and tell you how much money they made and how great they are at it. If you're a welder, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see me, but we're done for tonight. I'm gonna clean up and a day one. All right, guys, we're back here for day two. I've almost got this truck done. We're gonna start working on its twin today and hopefully get everything knocked out. Um, I got a patch to do on the inside of the bed of this truck. Just a small, quick little patch. Um, well, I shouldn't fucking say that because it, it'll turn into a goddamn nightmare. Um, and then, you know, just a little couple little cracks like this here. Here's some of yesterday's work that you guys probably didn't see um, because it got dark out real fast yesterday. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is a little bit better. It's not pretty. And no, I'm not going to fucking wire wheel the, the goddamn slag off because you know what? It doesn't matter. This fucking thing is just going to get beat to hell again. All right, so this is what we're going to start on next. There's a crack here. Cut that one out. And there's a crack right here. We'll cut that guy out and fix it. And I think that's all the cracks in the tailgate of this bed. And then on this truck, there is a crack right here. We'll cut that out and fix it. I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's one right there. We're just gonna go around and take care of all the stuff on the outside of the beds before I have to climb in. This one doesn't need any of those crazy ass patches that I have to like form to the bed. Um, somebody already did that at some point. I think they probably paid somebody to do that and then, you know, got the bill for it and was like, hey, you know, fuck these trucks. It looks like they already took care of the cracks on this side, whoever. Man, that's some bad welding. Probably some mechanic. I'm gonna start by grinding all my cracks out on everything. Um, and that way I can just straight up go down and weld all of them at once. Got like four cracks in this one. I think just one crack in that one on the outside of the bed to weld. And then we're going to be climbing on the inside of the bed, which I am not excited about. But part of the gig. to climb inside this bad boy and do the uh, patches we need to do in the bed. Before you climb into the bed of a truck or you get yourself into a compromising position where it's difficult to get out of where you are, you need to sit and take a couple of minutes and just inventory everything you're going to need on the inside because you're going to waste more time going in and out of the bed than you will if you just get everything the first time. You know, like that old saying, slow is fast, fast is slow. So here's the separation we need to fix. So this is gonna be a real bitch right here, that's for sure. And you can see this has been plated over before. There's actually another dump truck bed underneath it here. So, what we're gonna do is try to just kind of weld between here and here 
and uh, just hammer in. Let me see if this is the right time. Yeah, this should be it right here. And what I'll do is just weld it along this edge and then kind of just manipulate it like that and then beat it in. There's really not too much we can do with a, a dent that's fucking an inch, an inch deep like that. So this patch took me approximately 30 minutes to do. This is a time lapse of it from start to finish so you guys can kind of see the whole process of how I was shaping this and welding it little by little. Here I am throwing a little Texas TIG down for you. lip will start catching shit when it's trying to dump and eventually that'll pull and probably rip so what we'll do is we're going to slam a piece of metal in there from here to down to there and just hammer it weld it in like we did the other ones but here's how i'm balancing right now you know so it's kind of carries position lower it down like that the welding rods I won't do that with because I'm pretty sure they'll just smash to bits. All right, so I was able to get that over there. Everything in this bed is cleaned out. Just for some rod, but that's all right. Now we'll move our ladder. All right, let's move our ground. Here's another lesson I've learned in this business. Take a break when you need to. I'm going to eat my lunch, and then we'll get back to it. We'll throw that last patch on, and then get the fuck out of here. And up we go. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> okay. So this is the one I'm going to take care of real quick. Um, everything else seems okay Because I think that's the only one that can catch dirt so We're just gonna patch this in and this one shouldn't be too bad actually because I have a piece that's gonna span from here to here So let's get it done Perfect The only place we're gonna have a fucked up gap is up here But hey That's gonna make life easy. We'll blast that in real fast And this patch took me about 15 minutes. All right, so looks pretty good. Everything's nice and flat was the main concern. And like I said, this is we're just junkyard welding here we're not we're not doing we're not welding the fucking spot a spaceship and you can see that well will more than do guys so i forgot to shoot an outro i'm making one now don't worry about it so basically we finished up those two trucks we scheduled the red one for another day he's thinking he wants to cut those squares out and resheet the entire bed 
Whatever he wants to do, I don't care. So I'm working on a price for that right now. If I get that job, you guys will probably see it. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine if you like what you saw here today. Um, that was a rough job. Keep pushing me, keep dragging rod, keep doing what you do. I'm Melt Metal Anthony, and I'll catch you on the next one.